So back on Logger's Point, back on the quest for a 400 knot tip here in the Hunter Classic. And after hunt after hunt after hunt over on Timbergold Trails, here on Loggers, we've been having some really good luck. So we're going to stick with it and we're going to see if it continues to produce today. So looks like we'll be starting off with what I believe is a group of bucks. I thought I saw a glimpse of something way better than that right there, but it was just a glimpse. Now the problem is, we're kind of hunting this in reverse. Typically, what we would have done is spawn down here and go up, but I started to start up here and then fast travel down. There's a group of does just over this hill. I've got a tripod down there. I think we saw ears just for a moment there, but that ain't gonna work. Well, I guess I'll take getting around the does anyway. I don't think the bucks came up here. I don't think we were able to get close enough to where they could actually smell the scent we put down. So being on this side of the does is fine, but we still got to catch up with the bucks. Last we saw them, they were right around there. Hopefully they're not too far away. I'm going to guess that was the buck I saw. Now the thing is, I had a grunt way off to the left that I thought was the group that we were after. And actually what I'm kind of noticing down here, I don't see that initial one that we spotted. Like that's a decent buck. 190 to 220, definitely one we want to try to take out. I mean, it could have been that one. Let's just kind of lay here and see. We've got the 243 if we need it. Oh, go figure too. The does are going to screw this up. We got a doe right in front of us. So white tail doe down there. We're going to have to just Get him when he pops up over the hill. He's just kind of presenting a headshot now. I think we'll have time. But this is definitely going to be a 243 type deal. And I really hope we're on the right group of deer. These ones are getting pretty close. I see tines. Just got to make it a couple more steps and we're going to have a chance at it. That should work. See if we can get a vital hit. Maybe a hard shot. That felt decent. And it's all going to come down to just checking tracks. i got to say, like, it sucks going an hour before the first kill. But we've done this a couple of times now, and especially with loggers. We're just being more patient with how we hunt it. And it's producing decent deer. I think that guy may top 200. He's no monster, but a pretty good start. So that, I think, was the buck that grunted. So let's pay attention to these tracks down here. I really want to know, is this guy a rediscovered trail? Just going to really click on this from the edge. And it is. So almost certainly, intestines. What? Anyway, almost certainly, this is the buck I got a glimpse of. And finally, stomach intestine. I can't explain that one. A 201 to get us going. Not bad. And I think considering we're literally on the side of a hill, like we can't even move the camera down anymore. That looks pretty darn good. So it's, what was that, 8-something? 8 8.22 in game already? One mule deer down. At least it led us in the direction I wanted to go. And we've got a good chunk of the south part of Logger's Point to hunt now. So we did just fire a gun. Might as well scoot a little bit away from this area. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Second buck of the hunt. Going to be a 35 to 60 whitetail. We're slowly moving kind of towards that big crater where actually last time we were here on Logger's... We shot a pretty decent buck there, surely doesn't help that we whiffed on that. I'm not so sure we actually got a lung. Must have been right over top of it. Yeah, that ended up being intestines again. Kind of like before, it is going to take us in the direction we were trying to go. But that is a little annoying, so probably by the time we recover him, we'll be right around the edge of that crater anyway. But a lot of times I have some decent mule deer luck down there is late in the hunt. Who knows what's going to be down there, but certainly doesn't help that we're potentially spooking things. I don't know how I did this, because I picked up a track right there, but I walked right past him. He actually doubled back and then bedded down over here. Must have been just a little bit too high. Yeah, it was shoulder blade, hip bone, and intestine, so probably shot right over lungs 55.55. Go figure. Four minute wound time, and now we're going to try to scoot up through the crater. Once we get through this side, if we don't find anything, I'm not even sure where we're going to go. But we'll start to wander around and see if we can get another grunt. And hopefully it's got a little more antler than that. And here we go again. 
tracking other things. A match with Esmond Cottontail. I think we might have had one in the last hunt, but 1.72 kilo is a decent estimate. The problem is, all the tracks say they're going kind of southwest like that, and then there's no more additional tracks, so I'm just going to check around because they never go that far. It's got to be somewhere nearby. Are you serious? What are the odds? <laughs> Running around trying to find this rabbit would get a buck from? I went and grabbed our pointer radar to try to get some help, but we just crested this hill. Could that be it? That is it. It's not a great score estimate. Only up to 18 to 80. In that case, I think we're going to creep over there and try to stick an arrow in it. Actually, let's have radar just stay here. Don't need to spook our buck. And I think maybe we can get both. It is literally hopping right at us. I couldn't even see it there. It's 21 meters. I think we might be able to see it with the bow. Certainly can't with the binoculars. It's gonna hop even closer than that. Man, did it ever disappear. Okay, before it spooks, because I think it might be looking at us. <sighs> Got that. Finally, spent way too long after it. Got a doe coming in. Our buck should still be fine. Really would like a little bit of place to see, but I don't know, maybe back there? Man, just in time too, that buck. I think we better take him to the 243 because he sees us. He just came creeping up there. Right where we were just sitting. I think we're going to fast travel anyway. All that running around trying to find the rabbit really would have spooked things. And go figure, it's not even going to be that special. Might be 1800 plus, which is decent. And it'll actually give a halfway solid GM reward. But anyway... 91 kilo buck, good thing we didn't find his track and spend forever after him. 126 score, actually meters from where we killed that rabbit, which is going to be 1.8 kilo, shot it right in the head, 1796, so close. What in the heck is going on down there? <laughs> there are two bobcats, literally like side by side, clearly that gray color one's decent. That's a male 7 to 10, we might have to look at this then. I kind of thought that was going to be a female. So what is this one? That doesn't look like a half bad cat. That is going to be up to 25 kilo. Could be decent. It was actually the bucks that got my attention. There's a hog down there. At least one buck walking around there. Thought there might have been one other one. So it's been a super slow hunt. And then we get up here and there's just animals all over the place. Well, it seems like the theme here, every time we find anything, does find us. Now, in this case, we should be able to take care of this. She's down, and the buck shouldn't hear it. They're getting a little bit closer, but there is a mule deer buck, followed by a smaller whitetail buck, and I know there was another mule deer buck out there, too. Oh, there he is. So he's coming in as well. They're very much the same size, and that... Which we can't, uh, we kind of can with the binoculars, it's in there. Is the bobcat that we're maybe going to try to get with the 243. If things go to plan. Frankly, when we shoot that front buck, the other ones probably fly out of there and spook the bobcat. But if he's somehow in sight, we'll try to get him. I mean, it's just going to require stuff to go perfect. All three bucks are running here close. And when we shoot one, the other two are out of here for sure. The bobcat walked behind the brush. So basically... It's just going to come down to if those bucks run past. Maybe they actually spook it out of there. This hill's kind of steep, but there's the first one. I do think that's the biggest one. So probably going to be as good as we can get. Didn't even manage to drop him, actually. I think it's going to be single lung this time. We're just going to sit here, probably with the scope zoomed out, and hopefully get ready to make a shot when they spook it. They're going to, I think. I mean, that buck is literally right where the bobcats were. Maybe they did just flee out of there. I guess he's just going swimming. Got a coyote back there. I'm, I gotta assume the bobcats are gone. So what I think we're gonna do is try to get back on this rock. And if that buck maybe re-emerges from the water, we might as well get him too. We're going down there. And uh, by the way, I don't know exactly where he's laying. That one we shot died right in front of us. Oh, there's the other muley. He's kind of trotting away now. Pretty convenient time to slow up. I know you couldn't see. Oh, there's our bobcat, too. He was over there. Can we even get... That's going to be tough. Unless he slows down. I mean, 
he's still going way up there. I just saw him for a second. I don't know, I don't think he's that big, so I'm not terribly worried about it. But we'd have certainly made a, a better little GM reward of shooting the Bobcat than the Buck. We dropped the, the second muley. He's laying there. Wouldn't be that surprised those woods are open. If we can maybe see the Bobcat again. And that other one, like I said, he's dead. Like, right here, I can actually see the dome glowing. This has turned into a really chaotic portion of the hunt. I don't see him up there. So then, this box laying here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Left lung and neck shot at 16 with the bow. He's going to be at 121. Our other box laying right across the little pond here. And what are the odds? We can see the other whitetail buck. We can see the second bobcat. But no sign of that bigger one. That's out there, probably beyond the 243's range anyway. But this little spot down here at these three ponds really kind of held a bunch of animals. Real late in this hunt, we're like hitting the three hour mark right now. Okay, don't know how we did that. Neckbone 3, also a 121 score. Really lucked out because I thought we hit pretty much right behind the shoulder, but clearly not. Gonna give it one last look for that other bobcat. I don't see him up there in the open woods. So I think we'll just keep on moving because things are getting a little bit absurd here. We are surrounded again. Something's sneaking up on us here. There's like a 120 white toe on the left, maybe a 150's muley on the right. Really just backwards hunt. So typically, you run into a bunch of animals early on, and then as some bed down, as you shoot some, there's less and less on the map. Typically, you run into less later on. That's a doe. I kind of think this is going to be a 243 situation again. Really wasn't much in the plans, but that's the best buck, so let's try to get him. No next shot that time. And I mean, we can attempt. I don't think we can get up in time. Yeah, that guy's going to be down over the hill. But another buck down. Something else ran out of there, too. That wasn't the same deer. But at the very least, three hours into the hunt, we're killing all kinds of bucks. And really, this is the thing about Logger's Point. You just have to be patient with this map. There's certainly less mule deer here than over on Timbergold Trails, but if you're patient with it, some really cool stuff can show up. And lately, we've even been coming here on stream because it's been so good to us, and it continued to do that again. Whoa! A non-tip. The wrong species. That's a big one. I don't know if he'll top 300. He's 235 to 275, though. Hello there. <laughs> that worked out pretty good. That left side's like 260, the right side's 300. So he's probably going to be like 280. Are you in range to... Uh, Spooky Sportsman? Some nice looking deer. This will probably be my best kill with Vinky's bow, though I did kill a 400 Rocky with it. Perfect. That'll be a nice open spot for a trophy shot. Whoever suggested going to loggers, good call. 267, not too bad. Probably won't tax him. You were in this spot. Hey, remember you? Uh, I said this is my lucky camo. <laughs> the legend goes on. Oh, that was you, Hunter. Well, like I said, good call. Oh, the sun's just coming out. Beautiful. I typically can't manage to, and it helps that his antlers flare, you know, so crazily, but I typically can't manage to fill the entire frame with a trophy shot. I don't think we can do a lot better than that. You can see Binky's bow down there. Nothing's clipping. Hands firmly wrapped around the, I think, actual brow tine. This is more of a sticker. Pretty nice. It's encouraging to get non-tips, even if it's not exactly what we're after. Feels like something's happening. So the wrong non-typical, but a really nice non-typical whitetail nonetheless. And that's a big part of the inspiration for coming back here today. I mean, not only to include that in the video, I always love getting big non-tips in this game. There's not a lot better than a big non-typical buck, but it's the fact that Loggers has been, for a couple of weeks now, really solid for us. And of course, in real life, we're getting closer and closer to deer season. Whitetail are just on the brain. So I wanted to have that chance of running into Whitetail once again. That 80 to 100 track is probably from that buck that we just spooked. So we'll just keep on scooting on down through here. I mean, who knows what's going to happen the way this hunt's going. 
I mean, it's every time today. Every time we find any kind of decent buck, we've got other deer coming in from other directions. This guy here is a 140 to 170. I still feel like there's probably another one around. And we're just at that, like, awkward distance. We might just get away with this. And I suppose it's worth a try, because the one down there isn't that big. Couldn't really see him there. Got him down. Just got back prone. I think that one's looking at us. But he is going to keep on coming in. So if there's another deer with him, which honestly, hard to tell, we should be able to at least get to see everything. I really, I think that buck on the left was a solo. And maybe these two are together. It almost could be from that same group that we shot the 201 from. But I haven't seen any rediscovered trails. And they're getting pretty darn close. I don't see anything else. I'm really not sure. I think when we go to claim these, I do want to go and pick up their tracks. That's going to be 32-ish. I think we'll be okay to pop up here. If that was a bigger buck, I'd be a little concerned about going for it when he's not moving. Of course, now he is walking at us. I don't know about that shot. We probably had to go for it. He was going to pause again there and almost certainly look at us. Looks like single lung, so we should be all good. What I want to do is click on this trail if we can. That's rediscovered. But he might have been the one that grunted initially. Not really sure at this point. That one's a 135. The one that we just hit. Let's see if that's new or rediscovered. That one's one we tracked. I bet that was the same group then. So not a bad track. And I do think this is probably going to be our last buck. Long stomach we had. Head, skull, just barely missed the neck then. 156 score for him. Three and a half hours out here. Unfortunately, that 201 muley was the best buck of this particular hunt. But as I talked about, like with the non typical whitetail, there's just not a lot of better things in this entire game than a big non tip. So, still, the quest for a 400 non tip muley goes on. But it is nice to get a good one. And on Logger's Point, again, it's continued to produce. Nice to take down another trophy animal like that on this quest. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video as it's raining for the first time in the hunt pretty good timing so as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time